Some concerned people are not too happy with the process of the Allen County Library's way of handling overflow of inventory, so much so that they've started a petition to address the library's board of trustees to tell them to stop removing books. Fox 55's Gentil Neal has more. A petition on change.org already has over 2,000 signatures with the goal of reaching 2,500. It asks the Board of Trustees to stop removing large numbers of books from the library, as well as not to focus on what's most popular in circulation, but to keep those that may not be as popular instead of getting rid of them. As Stephanie Smith says, the only issue with that is not enough space. We are managing our collection more so than has been done in the past. So we're actively going out, we're figuring out what books haven't circulated in quite some time. Um, what books are damaged, what needs to be removed from our shelves. For those books being removed aren't going to waste. These books end up in a section where you can purchase them so they can get a second chance at life. It's also one of the main reasons why Stuart Turner comes to the library. I want all the books too, but we, uh, you just, there's sometimes, there's no room for all the books. And if they're not being checked out, why not make room for books that, that might be checked out and used more often? And if it brings more people to the library again, that's kind of... That's, that's everything that I would do to support. So last year alone, we gave over 85,000 books and items a second life. That means that people were able to take them home, make them their own, build their home libraries. We had teachers coming in, buying those books to build their classroom libraries, their school libraries. So that's always our first goal, to give them a second life. Smith says after learning of the concerns, the Board of Trustees agreed to have an open public meeting where the public can come and ask questions. If a book is completely damaged and they are unable to save it, they recycle it. In Fort Wayne, Gentile Nil, Fox 55 News.